Millions of Americans may be vulnerable to cyber criminals following a massive data breach that exposed 2.9 billion records. This includes social security numbers and other sensitive information. In April, the hacking group USDOD claimed responsibility for stealing these personal records from national public data. Our Sergio Cruel joins us this morning with more on this and how we can all protect ourselves when our information is stolen. Hi, Sergio. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Dan and Julie. So the breach happened from National Public Data, which is a platform that offers personal information to employers, private investigators, staffing agencies, and others doing background checks. But how could this possibly happen? So the USDOD breach is a social engineering cyber attack where hackers manipulate people or situations to access sensitive information. Allegedly, the hacker group used this method, method to steal 277.1 gigabytes of unencrypted data from national public data, which again is a background check company in Florida. The stolen data spans over 30 years, according to a cl class action lawsuit filed in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Our information is out there. Companies like NPD scrape databases, including public databases, court records, state databases, national databases, and even some non-public ones as well. So how would you know if you were affected? You can head over to www.npd.pentester.com put in your information. Now, if the results come back up as no match, then your information was not compromised in this particular data breach. Now, if the results come back as MPD breach check, then you will see a list of your exposed information. So what should you do next? The first thing you wanna do is to make sure that you freeze your credit reports, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Next thing you wanna do is monitor any and all of your financial accounts. And of course, you want to make sure that you beware of any phishing attempts. Again, you know, Dan and Julie, you know, this is definitely a, a, a tough situation for a lot of folks to, to do this. Listen, folks, it's not hard to, to freeze your credit reports. You can do it online. I've done it myself in a matter of a few minutes. Yeah, it's concerning. This is Absolutely. And very, very good information there, Sergio. And so a lot of people are probably wondering this. What about passwords? Yeah, so Jonathan, uh, he also told me that <laughs> the misconception is that we have to ch change our passwords every few weeks or months or even years. He said the reality is, is that it's not about the amount or the frequency of, of the time you, you change your passwords, but it's about the length of your password. So you want to make it at least 15 characters or more. Yeah, and that's yeah. hard to remember them all, but, you know, it's great advice. <laughs> it's about how hard it is yeah. for people to guess it, too. So. Yes, that's true. Sergio Cruel, thank you.